Hey folks, it's Dave here. We're taking a look at a, another new game today. Uh, this one is another quick play game from uh, VSU Sports and uh, Chris over there. And uh, this is their hockey game, actually. And uh, what's fun about these games here is you roll a lot of dice. If you like dice rolling, th these are the games for you. I, I, you know, and I, I like rolling dice sometimes. So uh, I've been enjoying this here. Now this one's a little bit more of a thinking man's game. Okay. So I'm going to explain how this one works here. And I set it up in the spreadsheet. And I'm kind of hoping it's going to uh, work pretty well. I'm getting pretty good at the um, at the spreadsheet here. I got to say, you know, I mean the little stuff. I can't do crazy things like that, but um, but I'm getting good at some of the simple things like adding and subtracting and dividing and the whole bit like that. All right, so here's how this one goes. First of all, let me let me show you the cards here that I got. So I, I'm I'm using the WHA set that he sent me here, and I, I um I got the cards here. So you know they're kind of neat. You know, he puts all the logos on them. This was, uh, by the way, he sent me this game. And uh, on the back at the uh, World there. And then um, he also sent me an NHL 82-83 uh, season. All righty. And, oh, I got some. Oh, I got, no, wait a sec. I got a 85-86 here as well. 82-83. Oh, I got a couple teams here. Oh, maybe that's a misprint. Oh, we'll see. Looks like it's 82-83. For some reason, Montreal says 85-86. So maybe he snuck in a good Montreal team on me. Either that or it's just a misprint. And then he puts that on the back as well. Um, well, let me, let me check it. Maybe that is a misprint. Maybe he needs to know about this. So Montreal, yeah. So he's got 85-86 on Montreal here. I'll have to tell him to fix the Canadians. No, no sneaking in good Canadians teams here. Sneaking a good North Stars team, though. So anyway, I'll let him know about that. Uh, but let's let's uh, get into the game here, okay? So what we do is uh, we, we take a look at, we're going to play the couple of games here today. So we have the Saints taking on the Whalers, okay? And what we're going to do is take a look at the Saints card first. Let me call up my Excel sheet here. There we go. All right, so you can see the Saints. They have a six with a five in parentheses. And then they got power play, shorthanded, home ice, the whole bit. And then they got their defense, goaltending, penalty killing, and coaching. So what we're going to do is I have the spreadsheet all set up. The first number, which is a six, that's how many dice we're going to roll. All righty. And we will put that total in the roll column. And then when we're done adding the power play, the shorthanded, and the home ice, we will have a total. We will divide that total by five. That's a number in parentheses. Okay. And that'll give us an initial total. Then we look at the uh, opposing team, which we have a defense, a goaltending, a penalty killing, and a coaching. Okay. We're going to add the defense and the goaltending. That's going to tell me how many dice we're going to roll. We'll add the penalty kill and the coaching. That'll give us a total. That total divides by eight, and then that will give us our final score. And I'll show you how that works. It sounds a lot more complicated than it is. All right, so let's first let's start off with the Saints. So we're rolling six dice here for the Saints. All righty. So let's get our dice. We're going to roll. So let me, let me, um, yeah, let me do this here. So we're going to roll our six dice, and we're just going to add them up. And so we got 10, and it looks like 18. So I'm going to put 18 in my roll. All righty. And then you can see the spreadsheet starts to fill out with some of the automatic things I put in there. So now we need to add our power play, which is one. Our shorthanded is two. And our home ice is two. So what I've done now, our total is 23. And my formula here is divide by five. So I have this divided by five rounded to the nearest number. Okay, so obviously 23 divided by five is not five, but it's rounded to the nearest number. So we will round up to five. So our initial score for the Saints is five. Now what I need to do is look at the other team's defense. So New England's um, defense is two, and their goaltending is two. So I'm going to roll four dice. I'm going to get that total. All righty. So I got, oh, look at that. I got a six, and I got 11. So I got 11. I'm going to add their PK of two and their coaching of two, and that's going to give me, let me get rid of that error message. That's going to give me 15. I divide that by 8, and that's going to give me a round number of 2. So then I compare the two numbers. 5 minus 2 is 3, so the Saints' final score is 3. Let's do that again now for the Whalers. 
So the Whalers have a six with a six. Okay. So what we're going to do is roll six. It is three, six. We're going to roll six dice for the Whalers. I like rolling dice. That's why these games are fun. Let's roll six for the Whalers. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Twelve. And ten is twenty-two. And twenty-five on their roll. That's a nice roll. So we got a roll of twenty-five for the Whalers here on the road. Woohoo! Uh, their power play, however, is zero. Shorthanded is one, and they are not at home, so they will get zero for the home. So their initial score is four, because again, it's twenty-six, and we're dividing by the number in parentheses, which for them is a six. Alrighty, so in my formula, it's this cell divided by six, rounded to the nearest number, which is four, and I have the computer do that all for me. Okay, as I Jason stops by, yeah, more quick play games. These are fun here. Alrighty, so now what I need to do is calculate for the Whalers their opponent. So their opponent uh, is two on defense and two on goaltending. So that means I need to roll four dice. So let me roll my four dice. Oh. Not that good. So I got, well, 6 and 6 is 12. So I got a roll of 12. The opponent PK is 2, and their coaching is 2. And that's going to give me, let me ignore that error. It's going to give me a 16. I divide by 8 because, again, the, the division by 8 on the defense is solid throughout all the teams. The only time anything changes is the parentheses number over here. And that's going to give me 4 minus 2 is 2. So our final score, it's the Fighting Saints 3. And the Whalers, too. So, again, let me just recap how we do that. The number that you see on offense is how many dice you roll. That gives us a total. We add our power play, our shorthanded, and our home ice. That gives us a roll total. We divide that by the parentheses, which in this case is 5. And so that will give us an initial score of 5. We look at the opponent's D and goaltending. We add those. We roll those two dice. So I roll four dice. That gives me 11. It gives me 11. Then we factor in the PK and the opponent coach. That gives us a roll total. We divide that by 8, and then we just do some simple math for the final score. And that's how that works. Let's do another one here. All right, so let me go to my sheet number 2, and I better be careful how I say sheet number 2, right? So we're on sheet number 2. And this time we have the San Diego Mariners, who, by the way, were a really good team. I think they had the leading score in the, the league at one point on the Mariners. And they're going to go to Toronto to play the Toronto Toros. All righty. So we look at San Diego. They got eight dice to roll. Right? They're a high-flying offense. Actually, Toronto is too. So we got eight dice here we're going to roll for San Diego. All righty. And they will be the home team in this one. So we'll roll the home team first. All righty. So we got eight dice, right? There we go. And let's, oh, a lot of ones here. But look, look at all the sixes. Holy, oh, my gosh. I got a Yahtzee here. Right? So that's, um, is that 30? Right? So that's 35. That's pretty decent there. Too bad to have so many ones. So I got 35 for my roll. My power play for San Diego is one. My shorthanded is one. And my home ice is one. That gives me a total of 38. And I need to divide this by six, which is in my formula. And that, that gives me a nice round number of six. Okay? So that's my initial score. Now I look at my opponent. Their defense is two. Their goaltending is one. So I'm rolling three dice right now. So let me take these and put them off to the side. I'm going to roll my my three dice here. And I'm probably screwing up my uh, my camera here. There we go. So let me roll my three dice. And it looks like it's going to be 12, right? It's going to be a 12. So my roll is 12. My opponent, PK, is one. And coaching is one. That gives me a total of 14. I divide that by eight. We round up. And that gives me a two. And so uh, they got five goals in this one. That's pretty good. All right, let's go to the Toronto Toros. They're on the road. All righty. And so now we have um, eight die for them as well. Or die, if you will, die. All right, so that's four and four. So that gives me eight die to work with here. All right, let's see what kind of roll Toronto gets. Can they beat a 35? No, not really. All right, so we get two, four, six, eight. And then we have, um, and 10 is 18, and that's going to be 22, 27, right? So we have 10, and then 27. 
So we got a roll of 27. Uh, the Toronto power play is one. Their shorthanded is one, and they are not at home, so there's nothing there. So our roll total is 29. We divide it by five, and that's going to give us a five, right? No, no, we divide by six. I'm sorry, we divide by six. Yep, so we divide by six because the number in parentheses is a six, and that gives us a five. All righty. So let's take a look at our opponent now. So the San Diego defense is two. The goaltending is one. So we're going to roll three die, and we're going to see what that total is. So here's our three die total. And, oh, look at that, four. Not very not very impressive defense for uh, San Diego. So our roll is a four. Their penalty kill is a one, and their coaching is a one. So that gives us a total of six. We divide that by eight. That rounds to one. So their initial score of five. So basically what it is is their score is five, and then you factor in the defense of the other team, which subtracts it by one to give them a four. So we had a pretty close game. So we had the Mariners five and the Toros four. Now, how overtime works in this game, all righty, is um, we roll a die for each team, and one team must be two higher to win, all righty? And if, uh, let's see, and the game can end in a tie. So let's see. So we're going to give... Red to the Toros and kind of this white to the Mariners. And nope, so that would be a tie because they didn't win by two. So that would end up being a tie. Now, I suppose if it was a playoff game, you would keep rolling here until you had a a winner. And not, we have a winner. Yep, so San Diego wins by two there. So they would score in overtime to win if we played overtime. And that's how you play this. So again, we had the uh, the Saints winning 3-2 to two at home over the Whalers. And then San Diego Mariners over the Toros, 5-4. to four, And that's how that goes, like that. And um, I thought this was fun. I, I thought this was a fun game. Um, all, all his quick play games are kind of fun. And, you know, it's fun, you know, you know what he sends you. He, he does a good job with his cards, always. Um, it's, so, it, you know, once I get it set up here on the spreadsheet, it was, it was kind of easy, you know. Um, divide them by, you know, the numbers are kind of messed up. But the spreadsheet does it all for you, and it was really good. So, anyway, that's a quick look at uh, VSU Sports, and again, that was the um, VSU Quick Play Hockey, and there's some of the seasons up there that you can get from him, and just, uh, oh, where's my email? I, uh, I didn't show you, my, I got to show you his email. Hang on one second here. So let me um, slide this up and get his email on here. There you go. Now that's a little bit better. So that's his email right there, VSU Sports 23 at gmail.com. If you'd like to get the catalog, and check out some of his games. He's got some great games. He does envelopes. He does everything there. He does a good job with uh, with his printing and the whole bit. So anyway, um, that is that. So I'm going to jump out here. We got more of his games to look at. He sent me a bunch of his games. So we'll, we'll be doing some videos on all of them. But I wanted to show you the hockey one today as I'm taking a little bit break from the Apple football. Although I got one more game to play in my 78 season. Um and I'll, I'll get that done later. Oh, basketball. Yes, I do have basketball. I could be showing up some basketball later on. You never know. So anyway, I'm Dave, and thanks for taking a look at uh, the VSU 